Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and this is your startup guy. I started my college in 2017 and I was doing my B.Tech in Computer Science Engineering. So when I started, I was very keen in programming and competitive coding along with developing applications. So the basic doubt in my mind or the confusion I would say was choose which editor. Which editor can help me out to bring out the best without much efforts. So today we're gonna see the best five code editors available out there for all the developers and students to use. So let's get started. But before that, do share this video, like this video and subscribe to my channel for more of such content. Let's get started. So basically, what is a code editor? You can take code editor as a software or, the, or an application which is used by all the developers and students to create modules and perform programming tasks. There are some text editors present on your machines but those are simple text editors which are underpowered as compared to these code editors. Code editors are the bread and butter of every developer and student because they are used every single day. Other than that, these code editors have always been compared to IDEs which are heavily bloated and quite slow to work with. The main part of these code editors is that they are faster and more responsive than major IDEs available in the market and so they outrank them. The best code editor can have a huge impact on the productivity of any developer. The best code editors offer a fast, flexible interface to be more efficient in writing codes while also helping in correcting common errors like syntax errors, runtime errors, etc. through easy edit methods. Some of the key features while selecting a code editor are these. Keyboard shortcuts, open sourced or its paid version, appearance, how it looks, dark theme, light theme, syntax highlight if it can tell you the syntax of a particular language speed how quick it is to perform those actions stability is it crashing or is it reliable cross platform can it work on all the platforms or os systems or cloud these are some major things which you look so let's move on and start with the first code editor in these series that is sublime text Sublime text really changed how the code editors work. Sublime is lightweight, open and ready to edit your file almost as soon as you have managed to click the button. It's highly extensible using the package manager which offers various plugins for development, code correction, themes, etc. Sublime is free to download but there is a paid version also available wherein you can avoid the payment pop-ups coming up again and again. Currently, it is downloadable for macOS, Windows and Linux environments. Coming to the second application, we have Visual Studio Code. This is something about Microsoft in daily used products that always makes them far better than any other tech companies. Either it be Microsoft Office or Visual Studio Code. These are some of the most loved Microsoft products. VS Code is surprisingly an open source application free developed by Microsoft. Of all the editors we have in the list, this comes closest to being an IDE. This is very robust when it comes to large projects due to its inbuilt intelligence, terminal and Git. VS Code is available on all major platforms. Only drawback of this editor is it's slow start. It's a trade-off which needs to be considered based on the application you are using it for. When Microsoft acquired GitHub, they were very clear about their vision of promoting more cloud-based services. And with that, they announced this cloud-based editor launched in May 2020, which works on a browser. Code Spaces is built on VS Code, which means it has many functionalities 
which VS Code contains. With no compatibility issues, it's the only editor out right now which works on any kind of machine which can run a browser. This editor is free to use and offers a lot of promises, but still new and untested among major developer communities. This functions offline too. So if there are any internet issues, you can still manage to develop from anywhere in the world, not just your own machine, making it the best collaborative editor out now. It is never bad to try something new and explore what new developments look like for a student or a developer. We have seen an editor by Microsoft, another editor, a collaboration of Microsoft and GitHub. Now it's time to see an editor by GitHub. Back when GitHub was an independent entity, they introduced Atom from the inspiration of Sublime Text and bringing the most common tool used by any developer, the version control system. Atom is also an open source editor, which moreover looks like a beta version to the combination of VS Code and Code Spaces. This free editor is available for all major operating systems and is reliable for its working and connection with Git and GitHub. It has historically had performance and stability problems though, but those have diminished as Atom has matured with time. It's true that it still launches more slowly than some code editors, but it's just as reliable and quick to use as any ones in its running. The list can never end without mentioning a platform specific editor, which has seen development and revamping for a long time from Coda to Nova by Panic. A macOS specific native code editor, which has outperformed other editors in terms of speed, performance and reliability. Providing useful tools, this editor is not free and comes with a $1.99 tag if new and $1.79 if an existing user of Coda. This looks the least visible option for students who always want the best for the least burden on their pockets. Even after giving you all the five best options I know, you still are not able to decide which to choose. From my end, I would recommend students to use VS Code for projects and application development while having Sublime Text on side to solve coding problems and quick DS algo assignments. For developers, most of the work these days revolve around cloud. And so my recommendation will be to try code spaces to maintain the work on cloud than on a local machine. Else VS Code suits the best. Overall, VS Code is a must for the best experience in programming. That's all guys. See you in the next one. Till then, keep developing and peace.